a banishment for an arrogant prince. Once upon a time, a kind-hearted king and his empress lived in a prosperous and peaceful kingdom. They had a prince named Prince Listo. Prince Listo possessed not only a charming face but also a brilliant mind. But unfortunately, Prince Listo's personality was not as charming as his face. Prince Listo was very arrogant and often mocked others. He mocked children around his age and people older than him. When kids of his age asked him to play together, Prince Listo would say, I am an honorable prince of this kingdom. I don't want to play with commoners like all of you. Prince Listo also had another bad habit, aside from arrogant behavior and a lousy personality. He often disturbed animals around the kingdom's garden. Prince Listo's mother, Empress Ardini, repeatedly advised him to stop disturbing the animals. But Prince Listo never listened. Hans continued to disturb them. My dear son Listo, we must not disturb those animals. They are also God's creatures that just like us, just want to live peacefully. Mother, I didn't disturb them. I just want to play with them. Mother, you know kids in this kingdom won't play with me. They would not play with you? Or is it you that won't play with them? I think I see them often ask you to play with them, but it appears that you always refuses. No, Mother. But I am an honorable prince, right? Prince Listo always responded with that arrogance when everyone, including his mother, advised him. The Empress told the King about their son's personality, but the King always persuaded the Empress to understand Prince's behavior. One night, when both of them were having dinner, the Empress complained again about Prince Listo's behavior to the king. My king, we have to find a way to help our only son. If we leave him as he is now, he'll end up being hated by everyone, and he'll end up being all alone. Oh my queen, Prince Listo is still a child. It's normal for him to behave that way. As he gets older, he will surely grow up to be a kind and wise young man. But your majesty... It's alright, my queen. Let us rest first. We can talk about Prince Listo another time. Prince Listo looked gloomy the next day while having breakfast with the king and empress. He just scrambled the food that had been served on his plate earlier. The most fantastic chef in the kingdom cooked various delicious foods, but they were not tasty enough for Prince Listo. Seeing his son's face looking gloomy, the king asked, What's wrong, my dear son? I noticed you looked a bit gloomy and didn't seem to enjoy the food. Do you not like the food cooked by the most fantastic chef in our kingdom? Or do you happen to want something else? No, father. I love the food. I'm just too bored, father. Bored? What makes you feel bored, my son? Didn't I give you all the best toys in this kingdom? 
You are right, father. Father has given me all the best toys I can have in this kingdom. But I have no friends to play with, father. It will be too boring for me to play alone. I have an idea. What if you bring your toys to the village near the palace? There are a lot of kids around your age. And I'm sure they'll be happy to play with you. I'm sure you would have an enjoyable time playing with them, my son. But mother, I'm an honorable prince, remember? I can't play with them, mother. Prince Lista's answer stunned the king and empress. They looked at each other, shaking heads, concerned with their arrogant son. At last, the empress suggested Prince Listo play around the garden nearby the palace. Prince Listo, my dear son, if you're too bored of playing around the palace and refuse to play with those kids, you can go to the garden near the palace. Flowers are blooming and there are many, many wonderful animals there that you can play with. Like the blue butterfly, for example. Hearing his mother's suggestion, Prince Listo felt happy at once. His gloomy eyes once turned into a gleam of excitement. Really? I have always wanted to play near the palace garden for quite some time. I will go there right now. You may go to the garden any time, my son. However, you must finish your breakfast first. After that, you are free to go and do as you please. All right, Father, sure. I will finish my breakfast. Prince Listo immediately and voraciously, he devoured almost all the food served on the dining table in a hurry. After finishing his breakfast, Prince Listo prepared to go to the garden. The Empress had proposed to summon soldiers who would guard Prince Listo, but Prince Listo refused. I'm not a kid anymore, Mother. After all, the garden is very close to the palace. I don't need soldiers to guard me in the garden. Let me go alone. The Empress had no other choice. She allowed his only child to go to the garden alone. But before Prince Listo left, the Empress gave him an important message. Oh, and please don't pick the flowers in the garden, as all of the flowers growing there are my most favorites. And one more thing, you mustn't be mean to the animals there. Okay, Prince Listo? All right, I promise not to pick the flowers and be naughty to the animals there, Mother. Then, Prince Listo went to the garden cheerfully. His footsteps were elegant and light, like an angel found along the road that cuts through the forest. Prince Listo quickly arrived in the forest because the garden was not too far from the palace. Upon arrival, Prince Listo was amazed to witness various beautiful colored flowers blooming all over the garden. Whoa, mother is right! Flowers are blooming! It's so beautiful! Many cute animals are playing around those blooming flowers, too. Prince Listo suddenly heard a melodious song while admiring the garden's beauty with beautiful blooming flowers. The song was not too far from him. 
Prince Listo looked for the source of the sound. The melodious song came from a blue butterfly sucking nectar from a blooming flower. Flowers blooming makes me happy, see, and tasty fills my tummy. Oh, I'm so happy this flower is blooming perfectly and I can suck out all the tasty nectar. Prince Listo approached the blue butterfly. Is that you who sings so melodiously? The blue butterfly was surprised by the presence of Prince Listo, and then the butterfly answered. You're right, I was the one that was singing earlier. Why do you look so happy, Butterfly? Hey, but I lied about what I said earlier. Your voice is not melodious. Your voice is awful, and it hurts my ears so much. Of course I'm super happy. Look all around you. The flowers in this garden are blooming. I can drink lots and lots of sweet and tasty nectar. I won't be thirsty anymore. And it's not a problem if you say my voice is terrible. The most important thing is I'm having a wonderful day today. Is nectar as sweet as honey? What is nectar? Why do you love to suck flowers nectar in this garden? Prince Listo looked curious. He was known as a brilliant prince, so he didn't want to miss a single piece of information that he didn't know. But Prince Listo didn't wish the butterfly knew he didn't understand what nectar is. Hence, Prince Listo finally lied. Nectar is a kind of fluid produced by flower. It tastes super sweet. We butterflies love them very much. We can't live without nectar. Oh, you're right. I am just pretending to ask about nectar. I am the most intelligent prince in this country anyway, so it's impossible if I don't know about nectar. So you and other butterflies can't live without nectar? Yes, nectar is our main food. Thus, an evil thought came across Prince Listo's mind. He planned to pick all the flowers in the garden so that the butterflies could no longer suck the nectar. Prince Listo didn't want the butterfly that taught him about nectar to live happily. So, he planned to make the butterfly suffer without nectar. Wait and see. I will make you all thirsty. No one can suck nectar from the flowers in this garden again. Realizing Prince Lista's strange behavior, the butterfly was surprised. Hence, the butterfly plucked up courage and asked, uh, Why are you smiling strangely like that, Prince? No, I'm not smiling. I will go back to the palace now. Prince Listo rushed back to the palace. Early in the morning, Prince Listo reached the garden with plant scissors the next day. The animals, including the blue butterfly, haven't arrived at the garden yet. Without any hesitation, Prince Listo immediately cut all the blooming flowers in the garden. But, evidently, his actions were known by the blue butterfly. What? what are you doing, Prince? Why did you cut all of the flower in this garden? Didn't I tell you we can't live without those flowers? How, how could you do this? Ha 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 I cut these blooming flowers intentionally, so you may not suck the nectar again. This is all your fault. Why are you smarter than me and taught me about nectar? After hearing Prince Lista's answer, 
the butterfly sobs in sadness. You're so evil, Prince. <laughs> the flowers are the only source of nectar we have. Without those flowers, we butterflies would be thirsty. All of us could die. I don't care. <laughs> The butterfly couldn't hold his anger. She made a curse of oath. I condemn you on behalf of all the butterflies because of your horrible action that will make the butterfly suffer in thirst. You will also continue to feel thirst for the rest of your life. You will eternally feel thirsty, even if you have drank all of the water in this kingdom. Soon after the blue butterfly finished standing the curse, the clear sky suddenly turned dark. The wind began to blow quiet hard. Terrible lightning also began to strike. Prince Listo became very frightened. He ran out of the garden immediately and went straight to his palace. Prince Listo shut himself in his room and covered his whole shivering body with a thick blanket. Not long after, the Empress entered his room. What's wrong, dear? You look frightened. For the very first time, Prince Listo wanted to be harnessed with his mother. But then, he remembered that he had got the Empress favorite flowers in the Kingdom Garden even though he had promised not to pick them. Then, Prince Listo lied. No, mother, I am fine. I'm just thirsty. Can you get me a glass of water? The Empress brought a glass of water for Prince Listo. The prince quickly drank it. I still feel very thirsty, mother. Can you get me some more water for me again? The Empress took a big jar of water. But Prince Listo kept asking for water. He always felt thirsty even though he had drunk a lot of water. When she realized something strange with her son, the Empress immediately called the king to enter Prince Listo's room. What happened, my queen? My king, Prince Listo, he kept feeling thirsty. Even though he's had so much water already, he drank almost all of the kingdom's water supply, and he's still thirsty. We must do something about this. Then, the king ordered the guard to find the most outstanding physician in the country. Even out of the kingdom's physicians, all the physicians could not cure Prince Listo's thirst. The king curiously asked Prince Listo, What have you done to cause something like this, my son? Prince Listo finally told the truth about all his misbehavior and the curse of the blue butterfly. The king was surprised by the confession of his only child. But the king then ordered the guards to look for the blue butterfly in each corner of the country. The blue butterfly finally came to the palace 
to fulfill the king's command. Once Prince Lister's room arrived, the butterfly directly said to Prince, It's punishment for a horrible, arrogant child like you, Prince. I beg of you, please lift this curse off my son, Blue Butterfly. It hurts me to see my son tormented like this. I can lift the curse but he has to admit his wrongs and promise to be a good child from now on. All right, Butterfly. <laughs> I admit it. I have made a terrible mistake, and I'm very sorry to you and all the butterflies. <laughs> I promise I will become a good child. I won't be naughty anymore. After hearing Prince Lister's sincerity, the blue butterfly finally lifted the curse. At last, Prince Listo was no longer feeling thirsty. Since that event occurred, Prince Listo turned into an excellent behaving child and was not arrogant anymore. Prince Listo became a friendly and kind prince to all of the kids in the kingdom who also cared about the well-being of animals.